Have you ever wondered why you wake up in the middle of the night, especially between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. feeling a different energy, as if something is trying to communicate with you? This intriguing phenomenon can be much more than just a random waking up. In fact, it could be a sign that the universe is trying to send a message directly to your soul. But what do these signs mean, and how can we interpret them to improve our spiritual journey and our understanding of ourselves and the world around us? Imagine that in those moments of silence and darkness, when the world seems to be on pause, a door opens to a deeper connection with your inner self and the universal energies. It's as if this particular period of the day offers a direct channel to self-knowledge, healing, and spiritual enlightenment. Throughout this video, we will explore the spiritual significance of these mysterious hours and how you can take advantage of this energy to raise your vibration, find answers to your deepest doubts, and, who knows, receive valuable guidance for your life. If you're ready to open your heart and mind to the infinite possibilities that await you, this video is for you. Let's understand the spiritual reasons behind this phenomenon and how these moments can be the gateway to a fuller, more enlightened life. Welcome to the Eye of the Soul channel. In the silent hours between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning, there is a magical and spiritually charged moment marked by the thinning of the veil that separates the physical from the spiritual world. This phase, deeply rooted in various spiritual traditions, offers a unique window for introspection, meditation, and receiving messages from the higher plane. In the stillness of these hours, the distractions of everyday life drift away, making room for a deeper connection with the universe, our spiritual guides, or even our own essence. This period suggests an opportunity to recognize and respond to subtle signs, a chance to reflect on deep life issues, or even receive guidance for the personal and spiritual path. Practicing meditation, recording dreams and thoughts, and remaining receptive to spiritual messages are essential aspects recommended to maximize this moment of connection and clarity. At this time, we can also be called to mind by the thoughts and emotions of people who are thinking of us, missing us, or needing our help. Dolores Cannon, a renowned psychic researcher, has highlighted the importance of being aware of these subtle energies, suggesting that waking up at this time may not be a coincidence, but an energetic call. Reflecting on these connections can offer us valuable insights into our relationships and how we can respond to these emotional or spiritual calls. In addition, the universe takes advantage of this moment of stillness and heightened sensitivity to inspire creative ideas and solutions to challenges in our lives. These ideas, which emerge when the conscious mind rests, can be deeply connected to our life purpose and spiritual path, serving as divine guidelines for action. Recognizing and writing down these ideas can be important steps towards personal and spiritual fulfillment. Another intriguing aspect of this mystical hour is astral projection, an experience that transcends physical boundaries and allows travel to different planes of existence. These nocturnal journeys can reveal profound insights and offer significant spiritual growth, as described in the works of Dolores Cannon. The conscious and safe practice of astral projection as well as the documentation of these experiences, can enrich our spiritual understanding and contribute to our personal development. Communication with guardian angels also becomes more accessible during this period. Waking up repeatedly at a specific time, such as 3.33 a.m., can be a sign of these celestial beings trying to communicate, offering guidance, comfort, and love. Being open to these signs and messages, practicing meditation and gratitude, can strengthen our connection with the spiritual realm and reveal valuable guidance for our journey. The hour between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. carries a unique atmosphere that sets it apart from other times of the day and is often considered a portal to the divine. According to the reflections of philosophers such as Plato, it is in this time interval that the human soul is at its most awake and open to the influence of the spiritual. Plato suggested that by engaging with the material world through the senses, the soul becomes confused and lost, resembling a drunkard touched by the mutability of earthly things. However, when the soul withdraws into itself, freeing itself from the bonds of the physical body, it transcends into the region of eternity, a pure state of being where truth resides in its purest and most unchanged form. 
This particular moment at dawn is considered special because it allows a kind of temporary detachment from the illusions and agitations of the physical world. In this state, similar to deep sleep or meditation, the soul can rise and approach the eternal and unchanging essence of the universe. This is the spiritual seeker's greatest longing, transcendence of earthly limitations for an intimate encounter with universal truth. The premise that this time is ripe for such a spiritual experience is no mere coincidence or cultural construct, but reflects a profound understanding of human nature and its peculiar connection with the cosmos. In moments of silence and isolation from the daily noise, when the world around us quiets down, the soul finds fertile ground for awakening and receiving spiritual insights. This time of day offers a rare opportunity for introspection and contemplation, an invitation to explore the depths of one's own existence and align oneself with the higher forces that govern the universe. The practice of withdrawing into this state of expanded consciousness can be a powerful option in the quest for self-knowledge and spiritual fulfillment, helping the individual to discern the eternal truths that lie beyond the ephemeral. Thus, the magic of this nocturnal hour lies in its ability to act as a portal between the material and the spiritual, between the temporary and the eternal. It represents a pause in the incessant tide of sensory stimuli, offering a moment of calm and clarity where the soul can freely soar towards the divine. For the spiritual seeker, this is an invaluable moment, an essential step on the path to enlightenment and union with the Absolute. The act of waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. transcends the mere interruption of sleep, signaling a sublime summons from the universe to connect with our most authentic self. This moment is an invitation to dive into the mysterious depths of our soul, seeking to understand the purpose of our existence. This awakening opens doors to our intuition, creativity, and the wisdom that resides within us, offering us a rare opportunity for growth and self-knowledge. This time, window is often associated with angelic communication, suggesting that it is not just a fluke of the biological clock, but a significant signal. The universe, in its magnificent orchestration, uses this moment of silence and peace to facilitate clearer communication with the divine. Waking up specifically at 3.33 a.m. can be interpreted as a direct message from your guardian angel, indicating a deep spiritual connection and the presence of heavenly guidance. Guardian angels, according to various spiritual traditions, are beings of light, mentors assigned to accompany us throughout our earthly journey, offering protection and guidance. This perception of being called during these hours suggests that we are facing a precious opportunity for spiritual communication and guidance. It is believed that each awakening at this specific time is a chance to hear and receive divine messages, guiding us on our life path. It is essential to recognize and value these moments, seeing them not as an interruption to rest, but as a spiritual gift. The practice of meditation and manifestation during these hours enhances our connection with the universe and our spiritual guides, allowing us to reflect more deeply on our purpose and direction in life. This is the ideal time to cultivate gratitude, ask for guidance, or simply open up to receive the blessings and insights that the universe is eager to share. When you encounter awakening during these mystical hours, welcome the experience with an open heart and a receptive mind. See it as a bridge to the transcendental, a window into your spiritual development, and a sign that you are aligned with the greater forces of the universe. Allow yourself to explore the messages and sensations that arise, as they may hold the keys to a deeper understanding of who you are and what you are destined to accomplish. This is not a moment to be ignored, but rather a call to awaken to your true spiritual essence. Waking up at the so-called hour of the devil, especially repeatedly, can be understood as a delicate intervention by our heavenly guardians. They seem to take advantage of our moments of greatest vulnerability to extend their hands as a sign of support and comfort. Such moments carry a special value for those who dedicate themselves to prayer, meditation, or the practice of manifestation. Waking up at this particular time can be interpreted as a sign that your guardian angel is responding to your spiritual calls, recognizing your wishes, and offering the necessary assistance. Experiencing the presence of a guardian angel in the early hours of the morning 
can be a deeply comforting and uplifting experience, serving as a reminder that we don't walk our journeys alone. In these moments, we are invited to open ourselves up to the wisdom and guidance that these spiritual guardians have to offer. Receptivity to such messages can lead us to profound thoughts about our life, our purpose and the universe around us. Waking up in these mystical hours should not be ignored or seen as a mere sleep disturbance, but rather as a valuable opportunity for spiritual growth, introspection, and a more intimate connection with the higher dimensions. So when we find ourselves in the deep silence of these early morning hours, may we welcome the opportunity to talk to our guardian angels with gratitude and openness. Be attentive to the signs, the subtle messages, and the sense of peace that accompanies this sacred encounter. Allow these experiences to shape your journey, bringing clarity, comfort, and a renewed sense of direction. Your guardian angels may be engaged in assisting your spiritual development or raising your consciousness. It's possible that departed loved ones are visiting you during this period to express greetings or pass on their own messages. View this as a divine grace. Your guardian angel has selected you to deliver their message at this precise moment providing a unique opportunity for spiritual communion and enlightenment. There is an instant when your consciousness shifts to an astral plane in an experience that resembles an out-of-body experience. While some may interpret this as a hallucination or a dream, others believe it to be an authentic phenomenon, capable of being consciously induced and managed. According to Dolores Cannon, the period between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is particularly favorable for astral projection opening a door to spiritual activity and enabling experiences beyond the physical body. Such experiences, uncovered in regression therapy sessions, often lead to profound revelations and personal development, going beyond the barriers of our usual conscious state. This is a call to explore the deeper dimensions of your being, recognizing the messages and lessons that these spiritual experiences have to offer. Astral projection and communication with the spiritual plane not only expand our perception of reality, but also provide us with valuable options for growth and understanding our place in the universe. By welcoming these opportunities with an open mind and heart, we open ourselves up to the possibility of profound transformation and a more intimate connection with the divine. Individuals who experience astral projection often report gaining extraordinary knowledge and insights that go beyond their everyday consciousness. They may encounter other beings, explore different realms or have access to information about past and future lives. In addition, many experience forms of healing, receive guidance, or reach states of enlightenment. At times, the burden of limitations and perceived fears can represent a significant obstacle to progress in life. A large number of people find themselves overwhelmed by the fear of failure, thus losing their sense of purpose in life. If you have been surrounded by various challenges and fears, waking up at 3 a.m. can be interpreted as a spiritual invitation to face and overcome these impediments. Occasionally, this awakening serves as an opportunity to confront the obstacles blocking your path and to review your life strategies and goals. In doing so, you may discover new ways to overcome your limitations and fears, paving the way for personal development and fulfillment. This process of self-confrontation and redirection can illuminate previously invisible paths, encouraging deep growth and a greater understanding of yourself and the universe around you. Thus, waking up at this mystical time is not just a physical or coincidental phenomenon. It is a call to an inner journey in search of liberation, knowledge and the expansion of consciousness. Acquiring wisdom is an aspiration valued by many, although it remains a challenge for most. While some individuals are born with an innate dose of wisdom, only a select group seems to have access to its deepest layers. The seemingly random act of waking up at 3 a.m. can actually be interpreted as an indication that the universe is trying to sow creative and innovative ideas into your consciousness. Dolores Cannon, in her thorough exploration of the subconscious, emphasizes the special significance of these early morning hours when the conscious mind relaxes and the subconscious becomes extraordinarily receptive and able to receive inspiration. This moment of great mental fertility often culminates in the conception of brilliant ideas. Dolores Cannon believed that this state is a precious window into the vast ocean of the subconscious, 
where the barriers between the conscious and unconscious self dissolve, allowing visions, creative solutions to problems, and innovative ideas to flow freely. In this context, the hours before dawn are not just periods of stillness and darkness, but moments when we can access a wisdom and creativity that are normally beyond our reach during the whirlwind of everyday life. In our existential journey, we often find ourselves at the crossroads between desire and fulfillment, between dreaming and doing. It is in this interval that creative ideas, especially those that emerge in the early hours of the day, take on a transcendental role. Cannon, with his enlightened perspective, teaches us that these are not mere effervescences of the mind, but whispers from our higher spiritual journey, heavenly guidance that propels us towards actions aligned with our soul's purpose. This understanding not only uplifts us, but also highlights the power of our subconscious mind in shaping our reality. Every moment of clarity, every flash of inspiration at dawn, is an intimate spiritual encounter designed to light our path, nurture our personal and spiritual growth. These silent hours are a gift, a time when the universe, with its infinite generosity, is more likely to grant our heart's deepest desires. They are moments when the soul reveals itself worthy of understanding and wisdom, transcending the limits of human imagination. The practice of recording these nocturnal ideas in a diary is not merely an exercise in memorization, but an act of faith in divine guidance and in the mind's innate ability to transform visions into reality. This is a way of honoring the messages received, of ensuring that they don't dissipate like mist in the rising sun, but are sown in the fertile soil of our lives. By understanding this dynamic, we open our being to receive and welcome the magnetic influence of these inspirations, perceiving them as bridges to the transcendental, as keys to the expansion of our consciousness. Thus, every thought, every vision that visits us in the early hours carries the potential to alter not just the course of a day, but that of our entire existence. When we encounter these morning revelations, it is imperative that we position ourselves not as mere spectators, but as conscious actors who are determined to give form to the substance of these visions. This implies an attitude of openness, a willingness to accept and integrate these ideas into our daily lives, transforming them into concrete actions that resonate with the call of our soul. This process of embracing and materializing creative ideas is not a solitary journey. On the contrary, it is a harmonious dance with the universe, an opportunity to co-create with the forces that transcend us. It's the thought that our spiritual and creative journey is sustained by an invisible network of support and guidance. By valuing these moments of inspiration as heavenly guidance, we reaffirm our connection with the divine, recognizing that we are both receivers and transmitters of creative energy. This enables us to navigate the sometimes tumultuous sea of existence with greater confidence and purpose. Thus, the early hours of the day, with their revelatory silence and creative potential, become sacred. These are moments when the distance between heaven and earth seems to diminish, when the voice of our essence speaks louder and more clearly. Taking advantage of these hours is not just a practice of self-improvement, it is an act of deep respect for our spiritual and creative nature. The journey unfolds, punctuated by these moments of clarity and inspiration, guiding us gently but with determination towards the fullness of our being and the realization of our higher purpose. These are not just isolated episodes of insight, but a light that illuminates our path, showing us that, in everyday life, there is always room for the extraordinary, always an opportunity to align our existence with the gentle whispers of our soul. In the veiled hours between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m., the veils separating the physical and spiritual worlds unfold, creating a stage for sublime communication with celestial energies. This period, shrouded in silence and peace, offers a heightened sensitivity to the vibrant energies of the universe, a state of being where the confines of the physical are diluted in the immensity of the spiritual. Dolores Cannon, with her unique wisdom, illuminates this phenomenon as an open door to an intense spiritual awakening, to explore the altered states of consciousness where the finite meets the infinite. 
The magic of these morning hours lies in the unique harmony that is established between the being and the universe, an ineffable connection with the invisible realms. It is a moment when the energy of distant souls intertwines effortlessly, communicating through a universal language of subtle vibrations. Cannon's work teaches us that our perceptions, thoughts, and emotions are not confined to the interiority of our being. They reverberate like powerful energy waves, capable of crossing spiritual dimensions, weaving an invisible network that unites souls separated by space and time. This phenomenon transcends traditional physical communication, offering a means of interaction that is both mystical and deeply connective. In this scenario, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of all things, of the fundamental unity that underlies the apparent separation between the self and the other, between the earthly and the heavenly. The currents of energy that flow in this state of heightened awareness serve as vibrational bridges, linking our essences to higher dimensions and to other souls in a cosmic dance of spiritual communion. In this mystical lapse, we are invited to open our hearts and minds to dialogue with the divine, to listen to the messages whispered by the universe through the silence that fills these hours. Every thought, every emotion we emanate becomes an emissary of our soul, reaching other existences, influencing and being influenced by the energies that permeate the spaces between worlds. Thus, the spiritual journey we undertake in these sacred hours is as much about discovery as it is about connection. It offers us the chance to transcend the limitations imposed by ordinary perception, to touch the sublime and the ethereal. By attuning ourselves to the vibrations of the universe, we can experience an expanded sense of belonging and understanding, a glimpse of the intricate network of energy that unites us with all beings and with the divine. The hours between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. carry with them a deep mysticism, a bridge between the earthly and the heavenly, opening doors to intense communication with the universe. In this sacred interval, the connection with the invisible is strengthened, allowing direct interaction with energies beyond our reach. According to Dolores Cannon, this moment is ideal for a profound spiritual awakening, as our minds and hearts are more open and receptive to the messages transmitted through the dimensions. Awakening in this interval is not a random event. It is an invitation to tune into the divine, a sign that kindred souls or heavenly messengers are seeking communication. Canon suggests that we welcome our intuition as a guide, immersing ourselves in reflections on our relationships and recent experiences. In doing so, we uncover and strengthen spiritual bonds, enriching our understanding and connection with the universe. These hours call us to listen more carefully, to allow our instincts to lead us, at this time, the quiet mind becomes a compass, directing us towards revelations and understandings that transcend the ordinary. If we find ourselves thinking of a loved one, this reflection can act as a channel, uniting the physical with the spiritual, bringing insights, clarity, and comfort. There are times in life when, driven by the desire to fulfill expectations or achieve goals, we lose sight of the true spiritual path. In these magical hours, the universe calls us to reflection, offering revelations that can redirect our steps and illuminate our path. Thus, these hours are not just time markers, but sacred opportunities for alignment and spiritual growth. Therefore, when we encounter the silence of these hours, it is a time to silence the external and intensify internal listening, allowing the wisdom of the universe to envelop us and guide us. This is the time to recognize that every whisper, every sensation, is a fragment of the continuous dialogue between our essence and the infinite. Facing this period with reverence and openness can transform our understanding of life and our individual journeys. Each awakening, each moment of introspection in these hours, is a step towards a deeper understanding of the connection that unites all things, a recognition that we are connected to the whole, on a journey of exchange and learning. This intimate moment, in the early hours before dawn, serves as a meeting with oneself, away from the demands of everyday life. It's an opportunity to step away from the incessant goals and high expectations we often impose on ourselves. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, whispers to us about the importance of embracing imperfection, reminding us that the human journey is made up of failures as well as successes. 
Waking up in this sacred period can be interpreted as a call to self-compassion, an understanding that we need to slow down, breathe deeply, and nourish ourselves with kindness. The pressure to achieve perfection in all areas of life, whether professional or personal, is a trap that can lead to physical and emotional exhaustion. These quiet hours invite us to reflect on accepting our humanity with all its imperfections and limitations. For those who find themselves pursued by an ideal of perfection and high expectations, whether of themselves or others, this moment can serve as a turning point. The realization that it is not always possible to meet these high standards and that this incessant pursuit can be the source of much of our stress and dissatisfaction is crucial. Instead of getting frustrated with imperfections and limitations, these hours can be a space to recognize and celebrate the progress made, however small. Dawn, with its stillness and peace, offers the perfect setting for this introspection and self-analysis. It's a time to reassess our expectations, both those we have of ourselves and those we project onto others. Instead of focusing on the gap between the real and the ideal, we can use this time to give thanks for the achievements and lessons learned, recognizing that each step, regardless of its size, is an integral part of our growth. So as we face the silence of these early hours, it's important to welcome the opportunity to practice self-compassion and kindness towards ourselves. This could be the moment to let go of the reins of self-criticism and make room for self-acceptance. Allowing ourselves to be human, with all the flaws and weaknesses that entails, can be the most powerful act of self-love. For those who find themselves awakening in this mystical interval, remember that each moment of awareness is a more loving and gentle relationship with yourself. Letting go of the incessant quest for perfection and embracing the journey with all its imperfections is a healthier and more rewarding path. This is the universe's whisper to you in the early hours. Be kind to your soul, embrace your imperfections, and walk with compassion by your side. This is a time for inner peace and clarity of thought to flourish. By welcoming these moments of spiritual awakening, we open the door to personal growth, strengthen our spiritual connections, and begin to move towards a healthier balance between our dreams and self-compassion. Viewing these hours as an honest dialogue with ourselves, where we can acknowledge our imperfections without judgment, is the first step towards relieving the weight of the stress we carry. During these hours of stillness and meditation, we have the opportunity to begin a process of healing, of building more harmonious relationships with ourselves and the world around us. It's a time to learn to trust ourselves, to embrace our vulnerability as strength, and to discover the growth that lies within each of us. Spiritual awakening, a concept rooted in various spiritual traditions throughout history, is often described as a period when the barriers between the physical and the spiritual thin out, offering a window into intensified spiritual attunement and connectivity. Thus, these hours before dawn should not be seen as mere incidents or disturbances in our rest, but as precious moments of connection and revelation. They are moments that invite us to reflect, to welcome our inner struggles and to open ourselves up to growth and transformation. This is a time to honor our journey, recognize the beauty of our imperfection, and embrace the complexity of our human nature. If you find yourself awake at these unusual times, it's wise to try to understand why. Facing these moments with an open heart and mind can be the first step towards uncovering messages and guidance that are waiting to be understood. Allowing yourself to be guided by these experiences can lead to a greater understanding of yourself and to finding a deeper inner peace. The experience of welcoming these spiritual awakenings can transform the way you relate to yourself and the universe. By opening up to these divine communications, there is a great chance that you will emerge from these moments feeling more aligned, enlightened, and at peace. Have you ever had significant experiences waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m.? How have these moments affected your spiritual journey? Share your stories and reflections in the comments. This exchange of experiences can be a source of inspiration and encouragement for all of us in our search for a deeper connection with the spiritual. Thank you for making it this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you feel the tips and insights were inspiring. Remember, what you give out, you get. Let's attract together the best that life has to offer. 
See you next time.